Good morning. So, what we have uh, discussed in our previous lecture, we have discussed about the role of physiotherapist and uh, in the society and how the physiotherapist is being associated with different different organizations. He could be associated with the NGOs, he could be associated with the hospitals, or he can practice individually also. Another thing which we have discussed is the types of rehabilitation and the methods of waste management also how to manage the waste, how to dispose them of. So this is what, what we all have already have discussed in our previous lectures. Good morning. Uh, today in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about the hand hygiene and the methods of hand washing. As you know, the hand hygiene and hand washing is a very significant thing and very important thing to be safe and regarding this era of COVID-19 pandemic these are the there are the guidelines to do regular hand washing at a particular interval of time and always make it a habit to use to wash your hand with the soap or the uh, uh, soap or the uh, alcohol rubs so hand washing there is a proper way which was guided by the WHO that how you have to do the hand washing and how you have to perform the hand washing and uh, hand hygiene is very important to keep you safe and prevent you from the infections to be occurred to you so in this lecture we will see that how do we do the hand washing and how to perform the now let us see that how we do hand washing what is the proper way of doing the hand washing as i've already told you that hand washing is one of the method to keep you safe and prevent you from the infection to be occurred because once you do the hand washing with the help of the soap or the liquid soap it is going to help you to kill the germs or bacteria which were present on your hands because you have hands are busy in so many things they are going to touch a lot of things like if you open a door if you move away stairs you or move up on the stairs you will hold up the railings and anywhere in the bus, in the train or in the metro, you will uh, hang your hand on the uh, towers and uh, poles on the seats. In any, any place, you can use your hand very frequently. So your hands carry a lot of germs. So to prevent all these infections to you, you have to do the hand washing and it has a proper way which was guided by the WHO. So what is this proper way of hand washing? First of all, hand washing should be done for at least 40 to 60 seconds, not less than that. 40 to 60 seconds you have to wash your hand. Okay, you have to rub your, you have to make your hands wet. Then you have to apply the soap on it. Once it, uh, you have applied the soap on it, just rub all the surfaces of the hand and make the form of the soap. Rinse your hands, uh, rub all the surfaces of your hands, rub in the, in the fingers, rub on the back of the hand, rub all the thumbs, rub all the fingers, in between the fingers, your nails, your palm. Each and every part of your hand should be washed thoroughly. And then you have to rinse your hand wash your hand again with the water dry your hand thoroughly with a single towel or with your personal towel use the towel to turn off faucet and indicated when the gloves or hands are visually soiled means your gloves or your hands are being used with the soil or they are exposed to the soil then you have to perform the hand washing or you have to do the hand washing this is the proper way of doing the hand washing so this is the way guided by the who it is it should not be less than 40 to 60 seconds and you have to rub all your fingers you have to rub all the back side of your fingers all the th fingers and thumbs in between the fingers this is how you have to perform the hand wash now come to the hand rubbing what happened in the hand rubbing uh, once you uh, make your hand wet and you apply the soap on it, you have to rub your hand for 20 to 30 seconds. You have to do this rubbing at least for 20 to 30 seconds. And then you have to apply the, uh, cover all the areas of the hand with the help of your another hand. 
both the hands should rub each other and your finger should be cleaning your in between between the fingers your hand should be cleaned then you rub your hand together until the sanitizer becomes dry apply the sanitizer or alcohol based sanitizer rub it all over your hand rub your hand together until the product or the sanitizer becomes dry it is indicated when your hand or the gloves are not visually soiled or in a contact with body fluids so it is uh, indicated when your hand is in contact with the body fluid or any kind of uh, soiled uh, any kind of material but nowadays in the era of pandemic covid 19 it is guided by the government that we have to do sterilization of our hands of our exposed area after uh, at least 1 to 2 hours or whenever we touch any object we have to immediately sanitize our hands because our hands can carry a lot of germs because they used to go a lot of uh, places they used to pick a lot of things we usually keep our hand a lot of places like in the opening of the door handles in the railings of the staircases in the lift in in the sofa area or in the waiting area or anywhere so so our hand has been placed a lot of areas or covered a lot of areas which carry a lot of germs so that is why it is guided by the government to sanitize yourself after each and every step you do with your hands so before touching an object and after touching that touching that object you have to sanitize your hand you have to sanitize your surfaces like tables laptops mobiles each and everything because anything can cause infection to you and can cause harm to your body so that is the, that is why hand sanitization with the help of the sanitizer nowadays is become very important and mandatory also so uh, what all are the um, indications for the hand hygiene why do we used to do the hand hygiene as i have already told you that in this nowadays hand hygiene is very important because our hand go to a lot of places they used to pick a lot of things they are used to being exposed to a lot of areas a lot of things a lot of places or a lot of things which we usually used to keep uh, or touch our hand to that area like our um, like the door handles which is one of the most common example then table chair sofa and that in public area you can see you, if you travel through a metro the door of the metro the seats of the metro or uh, any anything could be uh, a part of it stairs of the metro stations so anything if you touch and it is being contaminated with the uh, virus or it is being infected and if you touch that and uh, then it can cause infection to you it can cause harm to you also so that is why it is important and guided nowadays that you have to apply this method and you have to sterilize yourself your hand your bags each and every thing before and after touching the object do not directly use your hand on your mouth or your nose or your lips without sterilization or without the hand sanitization because the infection can occur to you from the surfaces also the covid virus is very uh, effective and spreading like uh, a fire in the uh, jungle and it's very uh, fire in the forest so it's very kind of a difficult thing to get away from it or to get prevent from you from being infected if you go outside of your home but people are going outside because of their work because of their study because of a lot of things the life could not be hold on so that is why if you are going out of your house if you are stepping out of your house in this era of pandemic covid 19 you have to follow these guidelines that is hand hygiene and hand washing or hand sanitization because they are so much important that they are going to cause you infection if you will not follow them so what is important or whenever hand hygiene is indicated hand hygiene is indicated whenever you touch any kind of contaminated object or any kind of in uh, you are in a contact of a patient or if you are immediately removing the gloves you have to sanitize your hand if you were in a hospital then before 
handling any invasive devices those devices who are invasive if you are touching them you have to sanitize your hand immediately then after touching any body fluid or open skin even if the gloves are worn the patient care moving from one contaminated site to the clean area touching intimate objects near a patient all these are the indications when you used to do the hand hygiene or hand washing you have to make it a habit whenever you come out whenever you come home from outside you have to wash your hand immediately because this habit will help you to keep safe and keep clean if you maintain the hand hygiene if you maintain this practice this is going to help you in preventing from in you from infection occurring and causing any kind of infection because of any kind of bacteria or virus because once you are doing hand washing it is going to kill at least uh, 80% or 70% of the germs from your hand so that is why hand hygiene is important and indications of hand hygiene are if you are touching any kind of object contaminated object nowadays if you are touching anything with your hand you have to do the hand sanitization and hand washing because it is important to prevent you from the infection of corona virus so in this today's lecture we have discussed what is hand washing and what is the need of hand washing so the proper hand washing which was guided by the who is about 40 to 60 seconds you have to wash your hands you have to do the hand washing procedure how you have to do the hand washing you have to wet your hands you have to apply soap on your hands then you have to rub your hands make the form of the soap then you have to rub your hand thoroughly from the upper side from the back side in between the fingers thumbs nails each and every part of the hand should be covered and should be thoroughly cleaned with the help of the soap you have to practice it for at least 40 to 60 seconds not less than that it is guided by the who and the hand washing is important because if you are doing hand washing you are going to prevent you from the different different types of infections because hand is such a thing or it is of such a part of your body which is easily mobile mobile and easily used to touch the things like table chair staircase or railings or door door handles lifts uh, or if you are going in a public vehicle then uh, seat public uh, of seat of the bus seat of the metro railings of the metro so okay or if you are going to the atm the atm machine anything anything your hand is going to be exposed to a lot of things uh, to day to day life and it carries a lot of infections which can cause harm to your body which can cause or make you severely ill if you would not practice the hand washing and hand hygiene why because if you are not doing it properly you are not taking care of your hand hygiene and hand washing what happen your hand carry some kind of infection and if you use those hand for eating for uh, rubbing your face or for anything so what happen that infection carry forward in your body also from your hands to your body and this uh, infection can cause a, diff a lot of problems to you it can cause a lot of severe uh, diseases like uh, bacterial infection or viral infection <laughs> so this was all happen if you will not follow seriously the hand hygiene and hand washing so you must be knowing or you must be seeing that in nowadays the era of pandemic covid 19 the government is providing a lot of guidelines a lot of uh, government is encouraging you to do hand washing time to time hourly basis or two hourly basis or whenever you touch any kind of object any kind of machine any kind of equipment or any kind of thing which is of public use if you do it then you immediately sanitize your hand you immediately wash your hand whenever you come from outside to inside your body your home you have to immediately wash your hand why because it will help you to be safe to prevent you from different different in infections to occur to you that is why government is encouraging use of hand sanitizers use of mask because the virus is on the surface it can cause a lot of damage to your body if it go inside your body so to make yourself 
uh, clean to use the hand washing and hand sanitization it is important to do it properly and make it as a practice and make it as a habit that always used to do hand washing or hand sanitizer use of hand sanitizer rub with the hand sanitizer on your hand whenever you touch any kind of the object either outside or any kind of object that is coming to outside to your home like if you carry vegetables if you carry fruits and you have it in a polythene bag or any kind of bag and you immediately touch that when you touch it after that you have to immediately do the hand sanitization or hand washing because this is going to help you to prevent you from different different infections to be occurred so this is all about the rule of hand hygiene and need of hand washing or hand sanitization